Ah, you can do this. Let's check this out. So you do this. And then you can do... Wait. Where is that hole? There it is. Where is the hole? The question you never thought I would ask. Oh shit! Hi guys, this is Matty Ace. I'm coming at you here with another one of those videos about playing super aggressively with the Assault class. Uh, I prefer to use either this one, the SMG-08, or one of the Automaticos, or MP-18 Trench, or even the Hell Regal. Now, for the most of the weapons that are good for this playstyle, I already have 100 service stars, which is why I focus on either this weapon or the Automatico Factory. Now, this playstyle is high risk, high reward. If you do well, if you succeed, you can mow down a big group of people in a short period of time and getting a lot of kills, but for the most part, you'll end up dying because they, your enemies, are going to outnumber you and outgun you in almost every situation. On top of that, you can't really rely on your medics to follow you into all these crazy situations because not only do medics have weapons that are mostly for longer ranges, but also reviving when you're surrounded with enemies, that's not always a good idea. So now on a side note here, I'm going to show you a weapon that you can get if you pre-order the deluxe version of Battlefield 5. Now I think there is an additional four weapons that also comes with this pre-order for Battlefield 1 and uh, this is what it looks like, one of them. Someone has ordered the uh, the new battlefield. This is the new weapon. I haven't pre-ordered it yet, so I don't have it myself. Oh. Well, there you gotta look at it. Actually, I did pre-order that version of the game just as I'm editing this video. So if you tune in for the next stream, I might be able to show it to you again. So now, when it comes to this playstyle, one of the things that is really important is that you can rely on reflexes. Everything you do needs to be done without you thinking about it. You don't have time to fine-tune your aim or adjust based on where you see your bullets going. And there are very few second chances. Now for me to get into this playstyle, one of the most important things was to have the right mouse sensitivity. Yes, I play on PC, mouse and keyboard, and even though I don't know how to explain this for console players, I'm pretty sure that your sensitivity and your settings are just as important for you guys. Now many times when I'm streaming, people ask me about what DPI I use and what in-game sensitivity I use, but basically my answer is always this. I need to move my hand from left to right 38 centimeters in order to make a 360 degree turnaround. That is my sensitivity. Now, however, I achieve that sensitivity with the DPI and uh, in-game settings varies from game to game, but the end result needs to always be the same, 38 centimeters. I need a big mouse pad for those crazy close quarter combat situations, and for longer ranges, I have an easier time keeping my aim stable. <laughs> wow, that was some intensity. So next up here comes a couple of examples that works to define whether or not you have the right mouse sensitivity or whether or not it's too high or too low. Now for me to turn my character around 160 degrees like that, I need to make quite a big movement with my mouse. Again, this is just a reflex. And keep in mind, just because I have a certain sensitivity, that does not in any way mean that yours is going to be exactly the same. Fact is, you can be just as good or much better with a very, very different sensitivity. And if you're uncertain, start with whatever feels the best and go from there. 
So yeah, the video will now continue with some more of these crazy situations. I hope you will enjoy it. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm not gonna go there. Let's go the other way. Enemy artillery sighted. Artillery. Tank. Yeah, I left. Gemini subscribing. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to the subs. What? No, it was another one. Oh, there was two, three more. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a... Uh... Oh, they're being revived right above me. They're being revi revived right where I died there. You think you can get, get me, Lolo? We are losing objective Charlie. Lolo? Yeah, see, yeah, nice, nice, nice. They're flanking. Yeah, I have to flank also here. This is too crazy. Gamble. Where I die, there's more fight. Oh, I didn't kill him. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Nice, we took it out. Good revive there. Problem with him was he, he when when he shot me, my body bounced away from and in, inside into cover, so you could revive me and then I could kill him. They're in the f building, uh, first floor, outside of A. They're coming down. Ah, uh, good call. They're near the building, outside A. Yeah. Floor is one. Eyes on a shock trooper. See, shall we? Uh, yeah. Oh, they're coming. One is coming from there where I died. 
He's in the door. Yeah, I got this. Wait, I can't revive you. Thanks, Maddie. Here's your weapon. There's a go. Oh, Thank yeah. You. Let's go D. Teamwork is real, guys. Yeah, Johnny Roxy. It's the stupidest thing ever. Okay, what are we? What do we suck at at dice? What do we really suck at? We suck at making animations. Let's focus on more animations because that is something we are terrible at. An enemy armored train is en route. Ten.